it's me, Ellie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the splits. Let's get started. Here's what the splits should look like. Before you begin to stretch out or attempt the splits, you should be warmed up. Here's how you need to warm up. You're mainly going to want to stretch out your legs, your ankles and your feet to do the splits. So here's some exercises that I would recommend. flexibility in your legs. Here's some stretches and exercises that you can do. you're going to want to make your lunge into a split so when you're in this position in the lunge and then you go back each time you're going to shuffle your foot forwards a bit more until eventually it's so far forwards you can barely lunge and you can just straighten out your first leg into the splits if you're naturally very flexible then you should get this quite easily and it won't take very long but if you are quite unflexible, then it could take quite a long time. But don't give up because it's a really great skill to have. If you have your splits on one leg, why not try on the other leg and why not try a box split? Right leg. And you can then try and get your tummy to the floor for more of a challenge. My best leg is my right leg and my worst leg is my left leg. So I tend to do my right leg in competitions and in any routine where I have to do the splits. In the splits you should try and make sure that your knee is tucked underneath, not out to the side like that. It should be tucked underneath. And try and make your hips face more towards the front leg than the side. Because if they're at the side then it's not stretching like it should. So you need to face forwards. And then with your arms you can either put them out to the side or above your head if you can. If not, when you first learn, feel free to have them both on the ground. And if you're comfortable with that, take off one hand until you're comfortable enough to take off both. And that's how to do the basic splits. If you want more of a challenge, you can work towards an over split. Here's what an over split looks like. I'm using my panel mats to put my front leg on and my panel mats are 6 inches or 15 centimetres in height. So if you have a panel mat and you can fold it up like this, that's what I'd recommend doing. If not, you can use a cushion, a pillow or if you're feeling really flexible, the side of a bed or chair. So the same goes as with the splits, but this time you put your front leg on top and slide out. You can also do this with your back leg on the mats or whatever it is you're working with. In my opinion this way is harder but I'm not sure what everyone else feels. If you are doing it this way you need to make sure that your leg's not bent like this because that obviously isn't doing anything. Your leg should be fully on the mat. Here are some common gymnastic skills that contain the split.
James Blitz. This video was suggested by... So shout out to her and like this video if you'd like me to do more gymnastics tutorials and more gymnastics on this channel. So please subscribe and remember you guys can see me also every Saturday on 7 Fantastic Girls. Bye!